Okay, let's start with take the A train. Um, starts on a G major 7, which I'm going to grab with my thumb on the 3rd fret, my 3rd and 4th fingers on the 4th fret of the D and G, my middle finger on the 3rd fret of the B, and I'll put my index finger on the 2nd fret of the D because I'll be uh, raising and lowering my ring finger. One of the reasons I like this script to uh, get that kind of a sound. And you can play around with it. I have it written straight, just uh, two with the full form of the chord and two with the ring finger raised. And then we go up, uh, we're still a G major 7, but this is a different inversion, barring at the fifth fret and the ring finger catching the uh, three high strings at the seventh fret. Just strumming the last four strings from the D down. And then a little uh, single note run. Just keep your ring finger anchored there and we'll hit the seventh fret of the G. Put your pinky down to grab the eighth fret of the B. Like that. Then an A thirteen, which I grab on the uh, fourth fret of the D, fifth. I mean the fifth fret of the D, sixth fret of the G, and the. 7th fret of the B and the E with my pinky coming down there and then my thumb wraps around and grabs the A on the bass it's an A13 with a 6th in there on the B string and I like to grip it like this with my thumb because then I shift very easily into the A7 flat 5 which really gives the song one of its signature sounds that's the 5th fret of the A and the D, the 6th fret of the G, and the 4th fret of the B. And then I'm going to go right back into that A 13th grip, with these three fingers coming back down, so that diagonal line going up the fretboard. And doing just a little bit of a single note run there to give the song some color. So I'm just strumming the chord, the A13, stopping on the B string, and then on the seventh fret of the B string, come down one fret at a time on the B string, then take this finger and go onto the G. So you're on the 6th fret of the G, the 7th fret of the D, and then rolling off to the 5th fret of the A. So, you know, it looks like an A shape when you're coming down like this. Um, just an A form. And then ending up on the D string on the 5th fret. So the whole phrase of the first four bars One more time. Now you could play that straight without that little flourish. And then in that case you're just moving from the A7 flat 5. Just slide that index finger up to the 5th fret of the B. Either way, I like to you know, throw in the little run. 
Those are the first four bars. <laughs> 